HyperAI is the latest AI video tool that was created by two former employees of Google's DeepMind AI research company and it's completely free to use. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. You can head to hyper.ai and sign in with either your Discord or your Google account. Hyper matches other AI video generating platforms by offering capabilities like text to video, animating existing images, repainting your video, and using existing prompts that they provide. The level of clarity is quite astonishing. If we look at this example, this looks like a dragon that is made entirely out of bubbles and it's just glowing and all of the different colors that are involved with depicting this dragon. It's very hyper realistic and for such a new service, Hybrid AI is doing a really great job. Here's an example of a Pixar style animated image, beautifully rendered, bright sunshine. You could even see the sunlight and the glare in the lens of the camera. It does a really great job. This example of a Japanese anime, beautifully rendered, looks like a scene from a Studio Ghibli flick. The Explore tab is a collection of all of the creations that different users are building and any one of them you can click on and you can view for yourself. The beauty of Hyper AI is how easy it is to use. All you have to do is start writing your prompt at the bottom. If you're looking for help there's an arrow and if you click on it you have a bunch of different styles that you can select such as old film, blurring background and again Studio Ghibli. Clicking on Arcane this is a prompt to demonstrate a League of Legends style video and of course if I wanted to I could click on it and I could just continue adding to the prompt and further refine it to my liking. On the right you have this eye which if you wanted to keep your creations from being public you could turn this off and then you have some options here where you can change the duration. Currently right now it's two seconds but four seconds is coming soon and then if you have the seed and you wanted to continue keeping the video consistent with the seed number I'll show you where to get that later on. I'm gonna leave this alone and I'm just gonna go with the predetermined prompt Hyper AI has come up with related to an arcane style. Let's see what happens. Here's what a Hyper AI can up with great animations and it looks like the arcane style from League of Legends. There are some options at the top. Clicking this arrow gives you the ID number, it gives you the seed number, so this is where you would get it if you wanted to go back and continue to build your video, but use the same consistent modeling. And then it gives you the aspect ratio as well. If you wanted to regenerate a new video using the same prompt, you would click on this button and then you would just click regenerate. This button with the pencil is you can modify the prompt and generate again. And then this brush gives you the ability to complete a video in painting. So you would click on it. You have the capability to add a mask or to remove an area. So you can click on specific items that you want to select and then in the box you can type in what it is that you want to change. So I'm going to ask Hyper to replace this flame with a sword. Here's the result. It falters a little bit but of course with prompting it's best to be as descriptive as possible. I will give Hyper AI the benefit of the doubt. Let's go ahead and push Harper AI even further to see what it's capable of. You're probably familiar with Sora, OpenAI's new video generator that's creating a lot of buzz. Let's take the prompts OpenAI used and see if Harper AI's quality is comparable. So this is the first one. It's an extreme close-up of a 24-year-old woman's eye blinking, standing in Marrakesh during magic hour, cinematic film shot, 70 millimeter, depth of field, vivid colors, cinematic. This is Sora's interpretation. We'll take that same prompt and see what Hyper AI does. Here's Hyper AI's version. There's a big difference in the length, Sora's 15 seconds versus Hyper AI's 2. I would say it looks computer generated compared to the realistic version of what Sora has put together. Here's the next Sora prompt. The camera rotates around a large stack of vintage televisions all showing different programs, 1950 sci-fi movies, horror movies, news, static, a 70s sitcom, etc. set inside a large New York Museum gallery. Let's see what Hyper AI does with this. Here's Hyper AI's version. It's not bad. There's definitely different programming, but it's hard to tell what's on the screen. Comparing this back to Sora, it's definitely impressive. Here's the next Sora video. Cat waking up its sleeping owner demanding breakfast. The owner tries to ignore the cat, but the cat tries new tactics. And finally, the owner pulls out a secret stash of treats from under the pillow to hold off the cat a little bit longer. Here's Hyper AI. The cat is very realistic, but there's no owner. Of course, due to the difference in length, there might be some hiccups. Comparing it back to what Sora has produced, this one is New York York City submerge like Atlantis, fish, whales, sea turtles, and sharks swim through the streets of New York. Let's see how Hyper AI 
tackle system. Here's Hyper AI. It's interesting. It looks as though the sea level isn't as high. In the sky, there's fish swimming, but they're not completely submerged under compared to Sora's vision where the entire city is completely submerged and the fish are swimming everywhere. Hyper AI also has an app for the iPhone. I couldn't find the app on the Google Play Store for Android phones, but given their popularity, it's inevitable that Hyper AI would create an Android app in the future. Let me show you what you can do inside the iPhone app. There's a section to create videos with a text. You can animate a static video and you can repaint existing videos. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to animate an existing photo, which I got from Elon Musk's X slash Twitter account related to the most recent SpaceX Starship rocket launch test. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the photo. On the right, if you click on the toggle, you have the ability to change it between HD and SD. And of course, if you had the seed number from a previous video, you could input that as well. So I'm going to write rocket blasting into space. Let's see what Hyper AI does with this. Here's the finished result. So you have the opportunity to share it. You can save it. And in the top right corner, you can click the three dots and you can delete it. But let's see what this looks like. There is some movement, a little bit of movement in the clouds and the rocket itself, but I'm sure this could be based off of the way that I was writing the prompt. It would require some tweaking in order to get the desired result. Overall, Hyper AI is impressive for a brand new AI video tool that's free to use. And I'm excited for the future of AI video because there's so many competing services. It will push companies further to create great products that we as consumers get to explore. For more on OpenAI Sora, you can click on this video right here.